Well, as uh, Mike put it very clearly before me and other speakers, it is not about the data. It is not about how you find the uh, uh, value on the data by the data itself. It's what you use to be able to explore the intrinsic information in that data. Without much preamble, we'll go to the uh, first slide. So you know at least who we are. We are not only the ones who sponsored the launch yesterday, which probably <laughs> was quite popular, but also we've been involved in big data for a long time. Uh, we started doing this about 15 years ago, and we developed our own platform to manipulate, process, and deliver big data even before Google published the Maverick newspaper, remember back in 04? And just a few months ago, we decided to release our platform, what used to be our bread and butter and our secret sauce for the data service, as an open source project. We released it in, back in June, and the goal is to promote the platform and to uh, help solve some of the problems which we know are out there, some of the uh, big problems that Mike and others have pointed out, and help other enterprises to do this in a way that is effective. And this is what we saw over all these years. When you have big data, you ingest the data into some system, you do some data profiling, discovery, you find out if it's complete, if the format is correct, and then you do some data integration across multiple data sources, analyze whatever you have, and extract the, uh, hopefully, the intrinsic value on the data, and then you deliver the data. You put the data in a way that humans can understand what they are looking at and can make sense about what is in there. But the key question is, how do you extract this value from the data? What techniques, what methodologies do you use to get that value? Of course, this is big data. You can't just go over every record. And it may not even have records. How about unstructured data? How about social media? What if you wanted to learn from this data? What if you wanted to get into it and know and let the data tell you what it is? You can understand trends, classify the data into different categories, detect similarities. You can even predict the future based on the past. Of course, not like Nostradamus, so don't get funny ideas there. Machine learning is quickly becoming a well-defined set of methodologies. It's a discipline that has been growing over the last 10 or 15 years. But you can see by the number of, public, of papers that have been published over the last three or four years that it's attracting atten attention, it's gaining momentum, and the fact that the, uh, there is an avalanche of big data out there that makes very difficult to do direct analysis on the data is pushing machine learning as a well-defined uh, an effective way to extract this value. Of course, nothing is exempt of challenges, and big data in machine learning is a problem. You can have thousands, sometimes even millions of features, billions of records. How do you handle that? And the largest machine that you can get may not get you there. This is the ENIAC back in the 40s in Pennsylvania. Well, if you're looking for a solution that can provide this, you are surely looking for something that can scale across your entire data set and that can do this processing across the billions of records that you have and the millions or thousands of features. And you're looking for different type of algorithms, correlation, classifiers, etc and a way that can be done, as I said before, distributed. There is very little value of trying to do this in a single machine and just buy the biggest machine you can buy because obviously it's going to be extremely expensive and it won't get you there. What are the takeaways on this? Essentially, very simple points. And this is the last slide, so 
Don't despair. First of all, you want to look at all the data. You don't want to summarize. You want to understand the data completely. There are certain areas, for example, anomaly detection, fraud detection is one of those, where you need to have all the data because even the outliers matter. And those are the reason for doing the analysis. So it is not just about, oh, I'll extract and summarize and then look at this little segment of the data. I need to look at the data as a whole if I can. There are techniques well known to try to minimize the number of features. Oh, I have thousands, thousands of features. Well, let's reduce the dimensions on the data. That can lose definition of the data, granularity. And that granularity is also important. If you're going to do a, data, a big data analysis, yes, you can use a standard platform to do some data manipulation, aggregation, summarization, and then present it. But you truly want to have something that will allow you to extract that extra value. And the best way, and this is the emerging trend, is to use machine learning on it. And the last one is, the last two points are obvious. Uh, and it's that if you don't take value, if you don't extract the information in your big data, you're going to lag behind. And obviously, lagging behind will make you prey of your competitors. So get on it. Thank you. <laughs>